Here I'm going to decompose a stock return into a dividend yield component and a capital gains yield component. Uh, this problem is phrased using expectations, and so this is a forward-looking idea, but uh, we could do the same thing using realized returns as well. So conceptually, the, the, the decomposition works the same way uh, for either. All right, let's start with the definition for a stock return. So the return is just going to be P1 minus P0 plus B1 scaled by P0. And, and, and notice that in the, the numerator, I can write these in which, whichever order I want um, to, to make this uh, most convenient. All right, so let's start with this part, P1 minus P0. What is that? That's the price change, or that is the capital gain in dollars. And then over here, I have the dividend at time one. And so already we can kind of see how uh, this is going to break down. So let's start with uh, the capital gains yield. When I say yield, that just means I want to express it um, in percentage of the purchase price. And so the capital gains yield is just going to be this part over here. So the change in price, or the capital gains in dollars, uh, scaled by the initial price. And so the capital gains yield is equal to P1 minus P0 over P0, which in this problem is 29.59 minus 22.13 divided by 22.13. And this is a little over 33%, so 0.3371 is the capital gains yield. So that's the answer for the capital gains yield. Now let's go to the dividend yield. So the dividend yield is going to be this component. It's going to be the dollars in dividends scaled by the initial price. And so the dividend yield is D1 divided by P0, or $1.61, divided by 22.13, and that's 0 0.0728, or 7.28. So there's the dividend yield. Now, bring these together. Of course, these two numbers, you can sum those together and you can get the total stock return over the period.